Our Christmas tree has been up for a week and I blame our eldest granddaughter for her pester power. She loves everything about Christmas, including getting the decorations up. But she was also slightly envious of her big brother who came to stay for three nights at the end of November. In order to make the peace, I agreed that when Phoebe came a week last Saturday, she could help put the tree in its place in our new home. Now it shines resplendent, covered with all sorts of beautiful ornaments, some of them made by our grandchildren. It's beautiful, and of course it was a lovely experience working with the children. And now the advent calendar is out, full of chocolate. Our preparations are underway for having a full house on Christmas Day, hopefully a lovely family time. This morning we were reminded of our opportunity to help local asylum seekers by gathering enough resources for 50 welcome bags, filled with hats, scarves, gloves, playing cards and other things. There are no easy answers to many of the problems people face. It can be overwhelming. And my mind can't help but think about those who will find this Christmas difficult. Maybe from the loss of a loved one or families separated because of war. The heart of the Christmas story is of a young couple making a very difficult journey in a hostile environment. Loving Lord, may you be the centre of our preparations and help us to share the joy, hope and love we receive from you. Amen.